full time then. England two, Belgium two. Um, just don't know. Just don't know where to start. To be fair, I mean, did deserve to win the game. I thought, you know, from a from a Villa fan point of view, I'm absolutely buzzing for Yuri Tienemans. Um, if he can bring that form back to Villa Park, then we then we should beat uh, Wolves on the weekend. But you know, as for England, like I don't know, it's just. It's just so lacklustre, and it? It's just lacklustre. And obviously the biggest talking point coming out of this game will be all over Ivan Tony. I was I was just dreading it the moment he scored that penalty because I just knew what everyone would be saying. Oh, you got to have him over Watkins. He offers more than Watkins. Um, it wasn't that long ago. Paul Merson came out and said he'd rather Ivan Tony because he can score penalties. Well, so, you know... Let's just say, for instance, we're in the Euros. Kane has an injury or he has to come off or we can't play a game. You have Ivan Tony as your backup. He starts. Are you just going to rely on him scoring? Because he, he doesn't do anything else. Today proved that he just does not do anything else. He doesn't get in the game. Doesn't doesn't really score from open play. He doesn't really offer much. Um, And, you know, personally, I don't want that. I don't want that sort of striker. Like... You know, if Callum Wilson was fit, I'd have him over, over Tony any day um, and so on. But, you know, Watkins comes on and he basically, he, he created that equaliser. He kept the ball in play, passed it to Madison. Pa then Ma obviously Madison passes it to Jude Bellingham and it's 2-2 two -two from a game that we should not have won because we just did not play that well. But, um, you know... From an England fan point of view, I think Jared Bowen had a really good game, to be fair. Got in amongst the game. Uh, Chilwell wasn't really wasn't really up for it, to be fair, in, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, it was nice to see Lewis Dunk and Ezri Khan at the back. And I thought, you know, the first goal, obviously it was, it was a mistake from the Dunk, but... It is what it is, isn't it? Everyone's entitled to their mistakes. Obviously, Konza can only do so much from his position as well. But the second goal we conceded, that was just... i got to say, like Lukaku, I've never seen him run so fast. But he gets in there, has a really good cross on him. And uh, Tienemans puts a header away, which we don't really see much from Tienemans. But I'm just I'm so happy for Tienemans tonight. Because I thought he just absolutely ran that... He just ran that game, didn't he? He was the man of the match. Um... And he would have been devastated that we got that equaliser at the end. But, you know, it is what it is. It's just, I'm, I, I, think I'm, I think I'm just showing what every Villa fan's, like, feeling right now. It's just, it's just bland, isn't it? It's like, you can tell from the crowd, like, it's, there's no atmosphere. Like, it's just distasteful football. Like, there's nothing that's going to get you off your feet. It's just, there's nothing really going on. And... You know, you don't want that. You want fully attacking football. Yeah, it's a friendly, but you still want to see that attacking football from such an elite side. Let's be honest, this squad should be winning things. But it comes down to the bloody manager again. The manager's just not for the job. And, you know, whether he, it was the plan to take Tony off and put Watkins on for a bit, who knows. But maybe you did see that Tony isn't all that, that he can only really offer you a penalty. Like, yeah, he got he got the penalty, he scored the bloody penalty, but after that, didn't really do much. Watkins comes on, could have had a little bit more time. Um, and just in the nick of time, obviously, creates that goal at the end. But uh, it is what it is. But I'm just, I'm just glad that it's all over for now. So we can go back to some real football in the Premier League. And, um, yeah, all our players are obviously fine going back into it because the, the last thing you want is an injury, don't you? We just do not need any more at Villa right now. I cannot take any more injuries right now. Um, but, yeah, at the end of the day, I thought Watkins played well for what for the minutes he had. I thought Ezri Khan's had a really good game again. And I will say, I think Khan's is 100%, 100% going to be in that squad for the Euros. I think uh, Southgate is definitely for, yeah, he can play the right-back role and he can play the centre-back role. And that would offer so much for England, to be fair, going in to that campaign. So, yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. If there is any fans watching the channel who obviously isn't a Villa fan, let me know in the comment section what you thought about the game. Do you think I'm being a bit too biased? But at the end of the day, I, you got to understand what I'm saying. Like, with Tony, he only really offers you penalties.